these players has a chance to win a gold necklace, a large screen television, a 35 millimeter camera, or a trip to Aruba. And continue in towards cash the prizes, including a brand new Toyota Celica and $50,000 in cash. Total over $100,000 up for grabs tonight on sale of the century. And now, here's your host, the star of sale of the century, Brandon Scrum. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Sale of the Century right here, MVG Projections. Glad to have you with us once again. Back here with three more contestants ready to tackle on, see if they can add to their season total winnings here as we get inch each closer and closer to the end of season one here. So let's meet our contestants, starting with our first player, Brody. Brody, welcome back. Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, five appearances on the show so far, and he's matched himself a nice, healthy total. $26,697, sir. Congratulations so far. Ready to Thank earn you. some more today? You bet right, well, good I am. Luck to you. Our second player. This is also this is his sixth appearance on the show this season. Season winnings of $7,149. You've got Justin. Justin, welcome in. Thank you. Not had much luck with the games yet, but do you think today's the day you finally get make it to the make it to the sale of the century round? Hopefully. Well, I got faith in you, buddy. Good luck to you. And our third contestant today, our third ranked player of the season, and his fourth appearance on the show, has so far won eighty six thousand two hundred and twelve dollars cash and prizes. We have Nels. Nels, welcome back. Thank you for having me, sir. All right, you're currently sitting third, but everybody else on the sh who's been on the show so far is chasing you right now for your spot. Do you feel yeah. do you feel confident you can hold on to it for the rest of the season? It's going to be tough, but I'm strong comparator. Let's go. All right. Well, best of luck to you, all three of you. You guys know how this works. And I got questions. Hopefully, you got some answers. Each correct question you give me is worth five dollars added to your bank. Miss it, however, we take five dollars from your bank. And of course, along the way, you have a chance to buy some great instant bargains, play for some cash, picks of the fame game board, and all sorts of surprises. But we'll get into those as we go get to them. But let's get you started off right now with twenty with uh, twenty dollars in money. And again, there's your buzzing keys on the screen. Remember, fastest finger first for each question. And let's get started with this question for five dollars. Players, what state is known as the Badger State? Is it Oregon? The Snells. Indiana? No, I'm sorry. It's not Indiana. It's actually Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Whoa! The be yeah, the bet. Indiana! So sorry, you lose. You fool! <laughs> you, lose fi you lose five early on that one. Drop to 15. What type of book summarizes items of general knowledge in alphabetical order? Is it Zagat's of Elves? What was that? Dictionary. Oh, I'm sorry. It's incorrect. It's an encyclopedia is what we're looking for. Encyclopedia. You lose another five there, drop to ten. All right, players, how many cities did Charles Dickens write about? Is it two, three, one, or five? Nels. Two? Yes, a tale of two cities. You're right. You go back up to 15. What coffee shop may be found in most Barnes & Noble bookstores? That's Nels. Starbucks is correct, and just like that, he bounces back to 20. Players, which one of the seven dwarves did not have a beard in the Disney movie? Is it Sleepy or Brody? Uh, Sleepy. No, I'm sorry, it's not oh. Sleepy, it's actually Dopey. Dopey is the one who didn't have uh, so you lose five there, and it's now time for an instant bargain. We have a digital camcorder. Digital camcorder normally priced at two thousand three hundred dollars, but today on sale the century, it's yours for just six dollars. And the producer says to give you an additional two hundred dollars to buy. But know what? I'm gonna make it even better for you because first argument of the day, and it's gonna cost you six dollars. So one of you is gonna drop down to third place. I'm gonna make it worth your while. I'm gonna throw an additional fifteen hundred dollars in cash if you want it. Fifteen hundred dollars at the camera, brother. Buzz if you want it. Go on once. Justin's gonna buy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Justin, congratulations to you. 
We're going to make it $1,500 $1, for you, so that gives you an extra $1,300 in bonus cash. We'll add it to your total at the end of the show. Justin drops down to 14 Brody with 15 Nels, after a rough start, has the lead with $20. And this next question for $5. Player, what is the surname of Tommy, the fashion designer, with a distinctive blue, white, and red logo? Is it Tommy Lauren, Tommy Toon, Tommy Armani, or Tommy Hilfinger? That's Justin. Oh, that's I get Tommy Hilfiger. Hilfiger is correct. You go up back at the. You got five of it right back. Go back to nineteen. Players, what? Which light, tough, heat conducting metal is used for kitchen foil? Is it platinum, lead, copper, or aluminum? That's Justin. Sorry, but aluminum. aluminum is correct, and Justin takes the lead up to twenty-four. <laughs> Justin! What term is used to wish a stage performer good luck? Is it twist an ankle? That's Justin. Break a leg. Break a leg is correct. You got to 29. Oh, yes. That's not working. Quick lead for Justin there up to 29. As we now time for our first fame game of the night. We're not playing for dollars, but a pick of the fame game board. As we look for this famous place. Famous place. I'm a tourist attraction. I'm in Paris. One of my I'm and that's Justin. Eiffel Tower. No, I'm sorry, it's not the Eiffel Tower. You're out for the rest you're what? out. You you're out for the rest of the question. This is now just for Brody and Nails. Again, I'm a tourist attraction located in Paris. I'm one of the largest of my type in the world. I starred in the book and movie The Da Vinci Code. I am Pei designed my famous pyramid entrance. My corridors run for five miles. I am home to an armless statue. I also hold the works by Rembrandt. I, I'm the National Mother. Art Museum of France. Where am I with the initial starting with L? I'm trying to buzz. It's not let him. Somebody just joined All us. Right. There we go. What do we have? The Louvre. The Louvre is correct. You got it. Nicely done. I'll fix your controls here. As you take a pick of the fame game board, Nels, you got prizes, surprises, and of course those money cards up there. Five and ten dollar money card. Where would you? What number would you like? One. All right, number one. Behind number one, we have. Ooh, the lockouts. Ooh. Of course, the lockout will allow you to lock out your one of your opponents for the next three questions. So, I wonder who it's gonna be. Yeah, Justin, I'm sorry. Justin, unfortunately, you are you are the victim of the lockout here. So, unfortunately, you're going to be out for the next three questions. So the next three questions are just for Brody and Nels to try to get them back in the game. Brody at 15. Brody at 15, Nails with 20, and this next question here for $5. Players, what kind of tree bears coconuts? That's Brody. It's a palm tree. Palm tree is right. You go up to 20. In what language is the song La Bamba sung? Is it Spanish, Greek, Nels? Spanish. This is correct. You go up to 25. What company is famous for its chocolate kisses? And that's Nels. Hershey's. Hershey's. And that is correct. You go up to 30. And, of course, as we know, Hershey's Kisses is one of the popular treats... Uh, available every ha around Halloween, and quite frankly, it's one of the most pop the Her classic Hershey's Kisses commercial with uh, the Hershey's Kisses doing the Jingle Bells theme. One of the most popular holiday commercials of all time. Fun little fact there, and especially on Valentine's Day. True, and with a tight game on this one, we got more sale of the century on your way after this. Stay tuned. Back here on Sale of the Century, time for another instant bargain. Nels this time with a $1 lead over Justin. You've earned the right to buy this. Ooh, a 14-foot, 6-inch day sailor. This awesome boat is make you the king of the high seas. They're normally priced at $5,785, but it's yours today on sale of the century for just $10. Oh. Wow. 
Producer says to give you an additional $400 of gas money for the boat, but trying to fuel a boat is very expensive. You're going to need a lot more money for some upkeep, sir. That's an almost $6,000 boat. I'm going to bump it up so I can make the math correct. I'm going to add, let's see, 400 how about another $1,600 added to that? Make it worth $2,000 in cash, along with the boat. A, a 70, almost an $8,000 deal for the price of $10. You'd be in a tie for Brody for second. The only two questions behind. Buzz it if you want it. Going once. Going twice. No, no sale. No sale there. All right. Can't get rid I can't sell a boat. I'm in the wrong business, folks, to say the least. All right, Nails keeps his $1 lead. Brody's at 20 Justin's at 29 Nails is at 30 Back at it for the questions. Next one for $5. Players, what words follow I Can See Clearly Now and Johnny Cash's 1972 hit? Is it The Fog is... It's Nails. The rain is gone. I can see clearly now that you got that question right for five. <sighs> the triathlon is made up of running, swimming, and what other event? Justin. Biking. Biking or cycling is correct. You go up to 34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What boxer famously declared, I am the greatest? Is it? That's Nels. Ali. Uh, Muhammad Ali is correct. You go up to 40. And what year was the Declaration of Independence signed? And that's time. Correct answer. And I'm ashamed none of y'all know this. 1776. 1776 on July 4th. Why we celebrate Independence Day in the country. Never knew that. It's okay. Now, here's another question for five. What would a vertically challenged person lack? Is it hair? That's nails. Height. Height is correct. You go up to 45. What is at the center of our solar system? Is it the moon? That's nails. Sun. Sun is correct. You go up to 50. Oh, I got it busted. Very close on this one. All three players going hard. It's time for our second fame game of the day. We have a 5, a 10. Right now and now we add a $15 money card to the board as we look for this famous thing. This famous thing. I was invented in 1953. I was designed in Australia. You'll find me on an airplane. Despite my name, I'm actually orange in color. I'm of great importance because I, I record events. I'm mostly used after an accident. Sometimes rescuers have to search for me. I hold a lot of information. What am I with the initials BB? That smells. Barth bag? No, I'm sorry. It's not the Barth bag. All right, I continue. Um, one more clue. This is a type of onboard computer you'd find on the plane. Record the incidents of an accident when the plane crashes. Hmm. Initials again are BB. You find it. It's the shape of a typical uh, shape is of in a black case that is typically of the shape of a box. Oh, Justin. I'm an idiot. Lock box. There it is. You got it. <laughs> yeah. I'm an idiot. Now, you fool. He just made the list. Yeah. Uh, Deal with it. All right. Justin, with that one right there, you got to pick up the fan game board. Four. And behind number four, we have. $15 money card! Yeah. Oh, I would have had that. Guess it's on your ass again, Nels. No, all right, with that, that. I'm sort of within $1 behind Nels. Justin at 49 Nels at 50 Brody still in this game with $20 yeah. as we continue with this next question for 5 bucks. Stuck up your ice started. Player, players, what czar of Russia was known as the terrible one? Is it... That's Nels. I even... I even the terrible is correct. You go to 55. What letter is represented by three dashes in Morse code? Is it S, A, O, Nels? Uh. F. What letter? 
S? S? No, I'm sorry. It's not S. It's actually letter O. Oh. Letter O. Oh. You drop down five, back to 50. <laughs> Traditionally, what is the main ingredient of hash browns? Is it chicken? Oh. Else? Oh, come on! Oh. Potatoes. Potatoes is correct. Back up to 55. Have a lead. All three players fighting tooth and nail on this one. And quite frankly, if they keep throwing punches like they are, they're going to start throwing spuds all over the place. And with Nails with a $6 lead, can he hold on to it? As we play more Sale of the Century right after this. Out of sale, the center here is now time for the instant cash. Nails with a six dollar lead. You have a chance to play for today's instant cash. Instant cash jackpot is up to eighteen thousand oh, dollars. Eighteen grand in the instant cash. The other two boxes will hold five hundred dollars a piece. For the cost of your lead, which is just six dollars, you're gonna have a chance to play for the instant cash. Buzzing if you want to play. Going once. He's gonna play. All right, gave up six dollars. Hopefully, it turns into eighteen thousand nails. What box right. would you like? Three. Number three. All right, behind box number three, we have five hundred dollars. That's okay. Number one. Number one. Let's see where the two. Let's see what the jackpot was. It wasn't number two. It wasn't number two. So I was right. I thought about That's okay. But wait a minute. Wait a minute! There's a sale surprise with this one! What? <laughs> what? I said sale surprise with a cash bonus can pop up at any time throughout the show. He bought the instant cash, so it looks like he's gonna earn himself a little bit more than just $500. To that sale surprise, we're gonna add another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars in cash! Nicely done. Fifteen hundred dollars for the price of six wow. bucks lead. That's not bad, sir. Add that to your winnings at the end. And you total everything up. But since you didn't win the instant cash, we're gonna add an additional one thousand dollars to the instant cash jackpot, making it worth nineteen thousand dollars the next time we play. And we continue on. Nails and Justin both at forty nine. Brody just a few questions back at twenty. Here's gonna be a very close game, Nails. I can tell that you I can tell you that right now. It's coming down to the wire on this one as we get back to our next question for $5. Players, who was Captain John Miller saving in the 1998 hit film? Is it Saving Private Ryan, Saving Ryan's Daughter, or Snails? Saving Private Ryan. That, Ryan. That is correct. You got it. You get $5 right back. <clears throat> who played the housekeeper, Mrs. Doubtfire, in the movie of the Snails? <laughs> Robin Williams. That is correct. Quick anticipation gets all oh his money God. back. He's back up to 59. What TV show was mainly filmed in the Bull and Finch pub in Boston, Massachusetts? Nels. Cheers. Where everybody knows your name. You're right. Up to 64. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Three in a row for Nels. He got... Up to 64, but now it's time for our third and final fame game. We still have a five, a ten dollar money card on the board. We're now adding an additional twenty-five dollar money card to the board as we look for this famous person. Famous person, buzz in when you know it. I am a male. I was born in Chicago in 1926. I wrote and drew cartoons for papers and magazines. I own my magazine, my own magazine hit stands in 1953. It had a now famous cover calendar photo. In the 50s, it was I was radical. In the 90s, I bordered a line on Kish. I encouraged men to come inside to play. I have a house full of playmates. I like silk pajamas, bunnies, and working for bed, and that's Nels. Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner is correct. Oh my god. Nicely done. Yeah. Alright. Nels. Seven numbers up there. Three of them have money cards behind them. Which one would you like? Seven. Number seven? All right, let's mm -hmm. see what we've got behind number seven. 
we have the ten dollar money card. Oh, that would have been mine. Wow, two big money. Two two money cards on the board. Take it off the board. It's most I think we found. No one was able to find the twenty-five dollar money card, but still, lots of questions to go. As we make it to our final portion of the game, the speed round. May I have sixty seconds on the clock, please? Brody at twenty, Justin at forty-nine, Nails at seventy-four. Lots of questions to get to. Remember, you won't be able to start buzzing in until I finish reading the first question. Good luck to all three players. Speed round starts with this. What city streets were used for the first edition of Monopoly? Is it New York City, Philadelphia, Atlantic City, or Boston? Brody. Uh, uh, Atlantic Right. What's the French word for a very thin pancake? Is it a crepe? Nails. Crepe. Right. Crepe. Well, on what surface does the toboggan usually travel? Grass, sand, water, or snow? Nails. No. Right. What are termites noted for eating? Nails. Water. Right. A bibliophile, a bibliophile is someone who enjoys doing what activity? Drinking, traveling, eating, or reading? Justin. Reading. Right. What are the Smothers Brothers' first name? Tom and Dick, Dave and Dick, Tom and Steve, or Ed and Fred? Nails. Tom and Dick. Right. And the United States Naval Academy is located in what Maryland city? Frederick. Nails. In Annapolis. Right. What color is a ruby? Nails. Red. Right. What baby in the Bible was hidden among the bill brushes? David, Jesus, Joseph, and Justin. Noah. Right? What month on the end time? Now! Today's winner. Congratulations. Oh. Impressive speed round right there. All three players doing really well today. But Nails with a big win at the I end. It, he's going on to play the money. Uh, going on to play the winner's big money board here in just a minute. Brody, you so f you did a you did pretty well today. You've got yourself twenty six thousand six hundred ninety seven dollars in cash of prizes. Add it in with the cash in front of you, multiplied by fifty. Your season total is now up to twenty seven thousand nine hundred forty seven dollars, sir. Congratulations. Now it's just going down. All right. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa, down. Calm over down. to Justin. Justin, you've got nine thousand six hundred forty nine dollars in prizes. Along with the cash in front of you and the extra bonus cash I awarded to you today, you're up to a nice healthy total of $13,899, sir. Congratulations. Finally over 10000 bucks. Yeah, you've done well. And Nels, a big win here, $104. You got you got the uh you got fifteen hundred dollars from the instant cash. We're gonna see if it's gonna pay off well for you as we play our winner's big money board, and it's coming up right after this. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sale of the Century here with our champion today, Nels, who's won $87,812 right now in cash and prizes, including the $1,500 in bonus money I offered him a little bit earlier in the game. Uh, before we continue on, I do have a note. There was a mistake made in the final round, which did not affect the final outcome here. Uh, the final final question of what baby was in the Bible was hidden in the bull rushes. Uh, Justin had said Noah. The correct answer actually was Moses, and I counted it right. So we adjusted his score, and he now has a season total winnings of $13,399. So I just wanted to clarify that before um, comments were made in the comment section below, pointing that out. But now, Nels, with your winnings today, you, you've got a good one. Want to see if you can go home with all the prizes in the stage as we play our winner's big money board. Come on over. Here I go. You would. All right, Nels. Welcome up here on stage. You got a chance to win a bunch of great prizes here. Over $100,000 in cash and prizes on the line. But let's see what prizes you'll be playing for on today's Winner's Big Money Board. They are the following. For $80, you can win a brand new spa with over $5,000. For $190, you can win a bedroom group and sleep set with over $5,500. For $200, you can win a jet ski worth over $6,000. For $310, you 
You want a full length pink coat worth almost $7,000 of $420. You want a trip to England worth $25,474 or $530. You want a Chrysler Crossfire worth $35,000 for $640. You win the cash prop of $50,000 and for $750, you win all the prizes on the state, including the cash jackpot, for a total of $134,518 today on sale of the century. All right, Nails, for every $10 you earned in the game, you get a $1 head start. You finished the game with $104, which is a very impressive score, which means we're going to start you off with $10 in your bank. All right, you get five picks off the well, winner's big money board here. Cash, cash amounts ranging from $5 all the way up to $250. If you can get to $750, you win all the prizes on stage and the cash jackpot. So when you're ready, sir, start picking, and good luck to you. 15. Number 15. What do we have behind 15? $50. Ooh. Good start. Lucky 7. Lucky 7. What do we have behind 7? $10. Up to $70. Not a good start. Um, 5. Number 5. Top corner. What do we have behind 5? $250. Yay. 21. Number 21 going the other corner. What do we have behind 21? $200! Up to $520. If you can find another $250 card, you win the lot, sir. One more pick left. You got this. One. You got this. What do we have behind number one? He's won all the prizes on the stage, leaving him $20 in the bank. We're going to multiply that by $1,000 for an additional $20,000 in cash. Your grand total, including everything you won in today's episode, brings you up to a whopping total of $242,330. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. A huge win right there on picking up the lot. Bumps you now into second place, sir, on the leaderboards. Now, congratulations to you. Oh, yes. He, I know he's got to be excited about that right there, folks. Well, that's going to do it for us on this episode of Sale of the Century. Thank you so much for watching. It's night. We finally have a lot, another lot winner this season here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button down below. It really helps out my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet and want to see more, hit the subscribe button down below. And don't forget to ring the bell. That way you never miss an episode of Sale of the Century or any of the other great game shows I have here at MVG Productions. And until the instant bargains come your way once again... And the and you get a chance to buy. I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Sales Century. Bye for now, folks. All the prizes used on Sales of Century are manufacturer suggested retail price, accurate as of time or take. This is Michael Gentry speaking. Sales of the Century is an MVG production. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratizing Network for great more content like this one.